He was about others, say his colleagues. Now those who worked with him will have a peaceful place to remember him. As you know, unfortunately, the tragic event on uh, 5 August, you know, took our, our boss and our leader away from us. Major General Harold Green was tragically killed in Afghanistan at the Marshall Fahim National Defense University outside Kabul. Green was serving as the deputy commander of the Combined Security Transition Command Afghanistan. Known as C-Sticka, the command oversees the coalition's training of Afghan security forces. And the legacy of General Green really reflects what he stood for, and that is the ability to mentor people, to talk with them, and to try to figure out how does he light the spark inside of our heart to be able to want to continue to serve, to want to come to a foreign land, to continue to be able to fight uh, terrorism, and to set the conditions for the people of Afghanistan to, be, to have a better place. That's what Harold Green stood for. After Green was killed, his team wanted to leave something that would truly honor his essence. And he was he was big on, you know, every day do do something to contribute to the team, do something different to help complete the mission. They decided to enhance and beautify a spot where Green spent a lot of his time. Well, General Green used to actually come here during lunch. He was uh, one of the most accessible generals here at Camp ISAF, we'd always see him at Chow. He'd come here and he'd grab a, a picnic table and he'd be eating with other, other soldiers, other officers, and, and he was always available. And there was always a big smile on his face. And those he influenced, organized, and planned, and built. What started out as a sketch on butcher paper turned into a memorial that people from all over the world helped contribute to. I'm sure somewhere in there, General Green is watching down on all of us right now. Let's, let's open this up. And this pavilion is right between two buildings. You can't see them, but this is where all of our guys work. And they used to come out here every single night, and there was a bunch of picnic tables, and General Green would walk around, and he'd talk to all the guys about, how you doing? How your family doing? How's work going? What can I do to help you? And he was fabulous, but this was his area. He, uh, he spent time here. He, he coached soldiers. He talked to them. He spent time with them. And uh, being able to put a little memorial here it's, uh, I think it's nice for the soldiers here. It's, it's kind of sad, you know, um, knowing he's not here, but this at least keeps us, you know, um, keeps him in our memories. And he had personal relationships with everyone in the buildings. He knew about your family, he cared. And I think that what made the long hours that we contributed daily worthwhile because we wanted to do a good job for the boss. Well, I think there's a, certainly a personal connection because Major General Graham was our general and, and we were his engineers. And sometimes for engineers, it's hard to, to communicate how much someone means to you. So we build things. And, uh, we build them to memorialize them and to remember them. And uh, you know, hopefully it stands as a symbol not only for what Major General Green meant to us, but what all our fallen mean to all of us. The pavilion stands as a place to relax, reflect, and build friendships. It's a reminder of Major General Green and those who were wounded in the attack that killed him. You know, it's a, it's a structure, you know, and so it, and it's sturdy, and it's, it's built with, with lumber, and, you know, so it, it gives you context and it gives you something that you can reach back to and, and connect to what Major General Green meant to us. He was, he was very much a, a bedrock for a lot of us, a, a stabilizing force in a very difficult environment. This gives us a place of peace, relaxation, and solace to remember that not only what he meant to this organization, but what he meant to us. And having a pavilion where people will congregate, it's uh, very fitting, you know, that it's not focused on him and, you know, it's, it's focused on the people, the soldiers, the Afghans. Um, I think it's very fitting. Maybe gives a little bit of closure to, to the events, but also uh, allows us to, to recognize someone who was uh, just a tremendous leader. General Green was not about himself. Uh, he was about the soldiers and the people, in fact, the people of Afghanistan. And now there's a small, quiet place in that country's capital dedicated to the memory of Major General Harold Green. From Kabul, Afghanistan, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Rich Stowell.